We got a really special treat for, a little too far away. We got a really special treat for, what? Probably too close. That's more like it. We got a really special treat for you guys today. One of my favorite golf simulator programs of all time, GS Pro version 2.0.3.2, coming at you right now. Thanks again for watching and welcome back. My name is Roland Cornejo Jr. Here at Garage Golf, we provide information on golf products, golf equipment, golf simulators, and pretty much anything golf related. So if you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, click that bell notification to be alerted of more videos like the one you're watching here today. Of course, as always, if you have any questions, if you're looking to build a golf simulator of your own, similar to what you see behind me, reach out to me anytime, Roland at mygaragegolf.com. I want to be your go-to person. I can help build out your entire golf simulator, answer all your questions at home at no additional cost to you. Reach out to me when you can. One more thing, don't forget to check out our brand new revamped website, www.mygaragegolf.com. Put a lot of work into that. We have a lot of things on there, including all of our video reviews, product reviews, and answering a lot of questions that you guys may have at home if you're looking to build your own golf simulator. Let's jump right back into the video now. So GS Pro. If anybody is new out there and hasn't seen GS Pro, I think you're gonna be really excited about today's video. It's one of my favorite golf simulator programs by far. What I'm gonna do in this video today is I'm gonna walk you through all the features. I'm gonna show you three holes of gameplay as well and hopefully answer all of your questions you may have if you're interested in looking at GS Pro to be your golf simulator of choice. All right, so first and foremost, let's go ahead and talk about one of the most important things a lot of people have questions on when that's gonna be the price. So if you're interested in getting GS Pro, you actually have the ability to have two options. One is an annual subscription, which comes out to 250 for the year. Second would be what they call a lifetime add-on. So it's your subscription plus a lifetime add-on at 550 a year. That's the one I selected when I chose it. And I think that's probably your best bet at home if you're interested. But if you just wanted to test it out for a year and see if it's the right product for you, you do have the option to do a one-time $250 subscription fee. You'll get access to GS Pro and all of its features for that entire year that you have the program. All right, so now in addition to the one-time price you pay for the subscription, the only other thing you pay out of pocket is an annual subscription to be part of the simulator golf tour that's part of the program associated with GS Pro. So what you get for that though, it's $60 for the year and you pay that via PayPal. And I'm gonna walk you through it on the computer here in just a minute on how you get everything set up if you're interested in this program. But what it does is it gives you access to all of your stats online. And um, this is what makes this program with GS Pro. You get access to Ryder Cup matches, President Cup matches, online rankings. We got FedEx Cups. We have web.com tours that get you integrated into the program and establishes a handicap for you. Really, really cool stuff. Let me take you to the computer. I want to show you a few things. I'm also going to talk to you a little bit more about which launch monitors work with this program as well and how you can get started if you're interested in GS Pro for yourself. So I'm here now on the GS Pro website and you're going to see a whole bunch of questions and different things that you have access to if you check out their website, which is gsprogolf.com. So here I am on there. You see the gallery. Incredible, incredible 4K graphics. Everything that you want access to. You will not be disappointed with the graphics. I definitely recommend that you check that out. Let's look at the launch monitors that we discussed first. So if we look at launch monitors, the following launch monitors are officially supported. There is access to the Unicore IXO, Unicore QED, FlightScope Mevo Plus, FlightScope XI, X2, X3, as well as Ernest Sports ES16. Now here's what kind of makes GS Pro a little unique as well as it has an open API interface. It's available for the community. It's a program built by the golf simulator community for the golf simulator community, which is really, really cool. So they're the ones creating the software and integrating it with GS Pro. So although it's not officially supported, it is important to know that users can, and plenty of them are using GS Pro with launch monitors such as the GC2, GC Quad, and even some other options that may be available out there as well. So now we've taken you to GS Pro's website. We've shown you a little bit more about which launch monitors you can use GS Pro with. Let's show you now a little bit more about that simulator golf tour that we talked about and what features you're gonna get for that extra $60 that you may pay for the year. So let's say we just signed up for GS Pro, you got access to the program and we need to get access to simulator golf tour now. We're gonna to go to simulatorgolftour.com and we're gonna click on this getting started tab here that you'll see at the top. The very first thing we're gonna do is join simulator golf tour. You're gonna create a new account for yourself on here. Second, this is the most important aspect of it is you wanna join the Discord page as well. In the Discord page, we have literally every member that's associated with this program pretty much for the most part is in there. 
you can talk and communicate with other members, ask questions, figure out how to do technical things if you don't know how to do it or you're not very tech savvy, you're gonna get a lot of your questions answered on their Discord page. So make sure to join their Discord. It's right here at this link. It'll automatically click on it, allow you to join the Discord page and give you more info. That's really, really important. Let me kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. And here's a better look at the Discord page here in detail so you can get an idea on what we're looking at here. So in here, you're gonna see all kinds of different member areas, GS Pro, GS Pro Players Room, Simulator Golf Tour Welcome, new courses, discussion, auto putt. So if you have different golf simulators, launch monitors, those kind of things, you may have the option to do auto putt tours as well. All kinds of really unique things that we have there. Um, again, if we have things like Ryder Cup matches, anything like that, Let's say you just want to meet up with a friend online and you want to go into a lobby. You can join one of their multiple lobbies here. You'll meet up with your friend. If you have a Bluetooth, headphone, anything like that, you guys can play around the golf together and talk while you're playing actually online as well. Really, really cool stuff. And since I've joined, the amount of lobbies have increased very, very much as well. So a lot of options. You're never going to really run out of a lobby to be able to join. That's really cool. But let's just say you're a brand new user. You want to go ahead and get some help. You go in here. There's all kinds of help tabs. Everybody that's on the tour is really, really helpful. They're willing to help you out, answer questions if you're new to this. So definitely something to check out. Make sure to check out the Simulator Golf Tour Discord page. It's a really, really good tool to give you all kinds of data and input that you may not have had the answers for before. All right, so number three, you wanna pay your membership. All you gotta do is click here. It'll take you to PayPal. You'll pay your $60 membership. That gives you one year of access. And then lastly, if you haven't already purchased GS Pro, from a provider such as our friends at Shop Indoor Golf. You wanna make sure you check that out. I'll put our link on the actual screen for Shop Indoor Golf if you're interested in any of their items. But you wanna make sure you purchase it through someone that is trustworthy. You can make sure you get access to it. Or if you need to purchase it, you can actually click this link here as well to purchase GS Pro. If you already have a launch monitor and just want to get the software program for it. So once we've done that, we're pretty much set up and we're ready to go. And I'm gonna take in a few other things here in just a minute. Okay, so now we've purchased GS Pro. We've set up our account on simulatorgolftour.com. What's next? What do we need to do? The first step, if you wanna become part of the tour and actually be able to play rounds on a weekly basis, is you wanna join the web.com tour. Let me show you on my profile. I've just recently completed that myself. It had been a while since I had been part of that program. And I wanna show you a little bit more about that and then what will happen from there. Then we're gonna jump into the gameplay and why I love GS Pro as a golf simulator program. So here we are in my profile, Garage Golf, here on the Simulator Golf Tour website. And you're gonna see my access expires on 8-16-2023. So when you get to that point, you just renew it. Pretty easy to do. First thing you do is you join the web.com tour. You basically can go to home or tours here and you wanna register for a tour. For example, if you're brand new, you're gonna to wanna to register for um, one of the web.com tours or web tour winter 2022 in this case, just to give you an idea. So you register for the tour, you'll sign up for that. Simple and easy, you need to play four rounds on the web.com tour. It'll establish a score and a handicap differential for you. So that's pretty cool. That's what gets used moving forward. So here's my four rounds and here's my score. So you see again, mid handicap golfer, Four, plus 14, plus 10, plus 16, plus 19. You then establish a handicap differential, which based upon, um, you know, basically your overall score, and a lot of times they'll exit out if you had plus eight or plus nine on a hole, that kind of deal. So I have a handicap differential of three here on the actual program. As you play more rounds, your handicap will also adjust. So if you start to play worse and you need a little bit more bump on that handicap, they're gonna adjust it for you as well. And a little more detail into each of the four rounds. So you're gonna see, Every single piece of data for these rounds is gonna be saved in here for you. It shows you your holes, what you birdied, what you bogeyed, your shot data, everything you're gonna to wanna to know and more. Check this out. This, this is all stuff that it gets calculated for you and tracks. Longest yard, longest drive, average drive distance. Look at that miserable number, 217. Fairways hit, eight and in, in each round, how many fairways you hit, how many sand save attempts, total putts, total three putts. You're seeing that this is all calculated for you. It's all saved online, all in your unique profile that's saved just for you. Really, really cool stuff as we talked about. And you have certain things as well. This is just the web.com tour. So now that I've created myself on the web.com tour, I finished the four rounds. I can go into tours now and I can pick a tour that I want to join, for example, like the PGA or the Pro. If you hit less than 250 yards, I believe or so, you're gonna to wanna to join the PGA tour, not the Pro tour. 
Uh, so they have different, basically, uh, setups based upon how far you drive the ball, and you know they want to make it fair to everybody. Same thing with the web tour. Uh, so now I have the web tour. You know we have we've gone through that. We've registered. So you got a lot of different options there as well. As you see, they also have things like two man scrambles, dog fights, uh, legacy tours. So all kinds of stuff in there. They also do Ryder Cup and President Cup matches a lot of times. Uh, so you get all that set up. It's all run through that Discord app. Really, really neat stuff. This is what makes this program for me. Even though the graphics are phenomenal, it's the whole interaction with the golfing community. And you can't beat this. If they're on tour on the PGA, you're playing on tour on Simulator Golf Tour. It's one of the most realistic, if not the most realistic program out there right now for your golf simulator needs. So now that we've gotten through the technical side of everything GS Pro related, along with the Simulator Golf Tour, hopefully you're still here with me. And if you are, I think you're really gonna enjoy the actual software side of GS Pro. So we know how to set it up. We know how to purchase it. We know how to get set up on Simulator Golf Tour. We know how to create a web.com tour and get your handicap established. So now let's get into the actual meat and potato. Let's get into actual gameplay, show you a little bit more. But I think you get a really good idea on why I like GS Pro. Again, if you're into golf, you know that you, if you play around a golf by yourself, it's often quite boring. You, it's more fun when you play with other people. Same thing applies with simulator golf. Nobody wants to come in here, play around by themselves on a regular basis without really getting to enjoy conversation and getting to kind of get that competitive side of you coming out. So let's say it's 10 o'clock your time and you want to play around a golf. You get on the Discord app, there's people all over the world that are looking to play around a golf at different times of the day. You can easily match yourself up with people. This is how you create friendships and bonds. A lot of times people from GS Pro, they'll even meet up once a year to play real rounds of golf at a location. So really, really cool community aspect of it. So let's go ahead and show you a little bit more of the details. I'm going to show you some of the settings. I'm going to show you a little bit more about courses because I'm sure a lot of you want to know how many courses does GS Pro have? Well, the answer to that is really every day they're adding more and more. It's really, really cool. They use LiDAR based technology. You're going to get real true to life courses. You're only going to get one version of each course. You're not going to have to search through 15 versions of a certain course that you want to choose and you're gonna know that that course is gonna be quality. So let me take you into the software, I'll show it to you behind me, we'll talk about it, and then we'll get playing some rounds of golf here. I'm gonna show you three holes of golf on one of my favorite courses, and see if you guys have any questions after that from there. All right, so it's gonna be a little easier for me to show you just right behind me than showing you on the screen and talking over that. So let's go into the program a little bit more. This is the home screen when you get into version 2.0.3.2. We have local matches, we have practice, we have tournaments, and we have online matches. So let's say that you wanted to play in the PJ Tour event, you would then register on Simulator Golf Tour, it automatically will register that tournament here on GS Pro, you would go into tournaments, you'd play that tournament. That's as simple as that, pretty easy. Online match, same thing, if you wanna play with somebody uh, through the Discord app, you would create an online match on here, they would know exactly where to find you, you guys would communicate, you could talk to each other as well. And that's how you play online matches with people all over the world. Super, super easy. It's a really simple process. I really like that. Now we have two other options, local match or practice. So if you want to just hit into the driving range, we would select practice. We also have on course practice where you can pick different spots on any course that you want to hit shots from. I do that a lot when I test clubs in here. That's a really cool feature. Today we're going to show you local match, but I want to show you a little bit more about the courses. So let's get to the courses next. So let's show you the courses on the screen here just because it's gonna be a little clearer for you to see them. But these are all courses. You can sort them by multiple different things if you want availability, designer, location, newest. I always like to go in there and see kind of what, what are some of the newest courses that are out there. You see all these are highlighted to say play course. When you first log in, they're gonna say download. You're just gonna click on them individually and it will download each course for you. So really, really easy. You don't have to really do anything at this point other than to open the program and download the courses. Once these courses are created and approved, they automatically get implemented into GS Pro and you'll have the ability to play them from there. So this is a list of all the courses. I just wanna show you just a quick sample of how many courses are on there. So this is the very top. If I click on select or show all courses and we drag down, check out all of these courses that are on here. I mean, easily over a hundred, if not a lot more at this point, I haven't counted them, but a ton of courses. And we have courses, of course, I sounded like uh, Mr. Ed there. <laughs> we have a lot of courses on here that you're gonna obviously recognize their big names, Harbortown, different things like that. Um, so lots of really 
cool true to life courses. There's of course some made up courses as well, but a lot of these Chambers, Chambers Bay, Quell Hollow, uh, Shinnecock, you know, there's lots of big names out there. Crooked Stick, Beth Page Black, lots of really, really nice courses on here. All right, in addition, visual settings. You can go in there and change a whole bunch of things that you want to do. If you want a whole intro, what color you want your ball tracer to be, what size you want it to be. Uh, Gimme Circle, that's a newer feature. I'm gonna try to show that to you in gameplay as well. Uh, if you're in a tournament, normally gimmies, I believe, are gonna be set around five feet. If you wanted to set gimmies at 10 feet so you don't have to put out you know, eight foot putts, you can do that as well. Uh, enable distance display, and have that checked as well. Club selector, you can put that on or off. You don't have to manually select clubs, but if you do, it does track some of that stuff, so that's nice. Uh, show aim indicator, and then high UI on shot. So I'm gonna show you all that in the actual gameplay. I'm gonna go ahead and close that right now. And let's go ahead and pick a course, one that I believe we'll have a good time playing. We'll go ahead and show that to you here. All right, and for our course we're gonna pick today, let's pick an iconic one. And we're gonna go ahead and click on Pebble Beach. I think that's obviously one that a lot of people are gonna know. So let's go ahead and click on Pebble Beach and we're gonna click on play course. You now have the option, if you have multiple people here that you wanted to play with, you can pick different players. You can add different players as well. You can invite a player if you wanna play with someone online. But let's just go ahead and click on match setting just to kind of look at that. You could, if you wanted to have different people, different tee boxes, you can also do that. You can change your distances. You can change the pin location. We can change that gimme to say from five foot to six foot to all the way pretty much whatever you want it to be um, elevation i just leave at course stint meters around 10 and again different based upon if you're going to play a normal game you can change this however you want if you're going to play in a tournament these will all be set in stone so you won't be able to change those but that's a really nice feature that means no cheating nobody has different settings than anybody else that's a really nice feature as well all right so we're ready to play let's go ahead and click on play pebble beach now this is our main screen. This is the very first hole of Pebble Beach. So I'm gonna play the first three holes just to kind of show you. One of the coolest things is that one of the very first, I think the very first video I did, I compared a program called Jack Nicholas Perfect Golf to the golf club at that time. And we played Pebble Beach and we played the first three holes. So if you wanna go back and check that out, just to see a little bit more on how I've changed the channel and how I've done videos from there, that was the first video I ever did, so I thought it's kind of cool to go back to Pebble Beach and show you. Down here you have a map. You're gonna have a way to aim on that map. This is where you'll go ahead and select where you're aiming for your tee shot. So I don't hit the ball very far with my driver, to be honest, I'm gonna aim right there in the middle of the fairway. You're gonna have different things like your carry, ball speed, all the numbers on here. There's a menu button as well that you can select to add different things if you want. Really cool, if I wanna do a flyover, I can click that. My computer is being a little glitchy today, so I apologize for any graphic stuff. Um, it does take a demanding graphics card, just to let you know. It, it is something you want to look at. It does have some settings on their website about what kind of graphics card you want to get for this program. Um, I have a very strong RTX 2080, I believe, for mine. And still, if I'm running more than one program, sometimes it will slow it down a bit, just to kind of let you guys know. I'm running a program that's recording the screen so you can see it. So it may just be taking a little too much uh, of the power from that as well. So we have flyover, we have a putt mode, shortcuts. There's also keyboard shortcuts. If you ever wanna pull it up, it's right here in the menu. You club up, club down, lighting, flyovers, anything that you would need. This is a really nice tool here. So if you have a handhold, handheld little uh, keyboard that you wanna put in your pocket in between shots, you could use that. Or if you have one of the, say the Roxer boxes or the different control boxes you could put on the floor, you can definitely use those as well to help integrate with some of these keyboard shortcuts that you see here. So here we are in hole one, Pebble Beach. Lights are gonna be dimmed a little bit now so you can see the screen behind me a little bit easier. I'm gonna play three holes. We're gonna keep it 100% real here, show you a little bit more about how bad my gameplay is, but how cool the GS Pro gameplay is. So let's get started. And I'll try to show you different features along the way. Uh, again, I've already aimed up my shot with the map in the bottom right hand corner down there. You can drag that with your mouse, aim your shot wherever you want. Let's go ahead and hit that first shot and we'll see how we do. And a nice little shot down the middle. Very little shot down the middle. But I'm in the fairway. First shot, I haven't played around round of golf in about two weeks, so bear with me. So now you see it's gonna show me my distance on the screen, 158 to the hole. It's also gonna show me that it's uphill, eight foot 11 inches. 
Down here on the bottom left, it's actually gonna show me a club. So it's gonna show me an eight iron for that shot. And I can adjust that if I want to. Now you don't have to, but if you want to adjust the actual club you're gonna use, it'll help track some of the data in the, in the post in and on the website and that kind of stuff that you see as far as tracking numbers and all that kind of stuff as well. Uh, up there in the right hand corner, you see all the shot data from the previous shot. You have two options. You can use the GS Pro formula or you can actually use, like in my case, since I'm using it with the Unicore IXO, I could use what actually shows up on the Unicore data. I prefer to keep it with the gameplay. If there's wind, different features, if I'm being penalized uh, on the course, it's gonna actually reflect all that as well. So I got 158. Let's take our next shot and uh, see how we do. I'll be using an eight iron for that shot. Now, if I wanted to see shot options, I can click that. Let's say I was stuck somewhere and it didn't want to allow me to hit the ball. I could re-hit, I could mulligan, sim drop, concede or replay. We're not touching any of that stuff today for the most part, but I just wanted to show you those features. Again, I can do a flyover. When I tried doing it on the PC early, it didn't really show you very clearly. I want to show you the flyover. If you want to do that before any hole, you can do that just to see what it looks like. I've never had the opportunity to play Pebble Beach, but if anyone has, let me know what it looks like on hole number one compared to what you see here. All right, so let's take that eight iron shot, see if we can get it on the green. Okay, gonna be left of the green in the bunker. Isn't that real life for you? All right, cool, I get to show you a bunker shot now. Now I am in the bunker. My only gripe with GS Pro, I would say, at least right now, would be I'd like to know what my penalty is gonna be. It doesn't reflect it on the screen. After I hit a couple shots later on, it will reflect it. But for me, I mean, if you're able to fill the sand with your feet, you'd be able to know kind of what your penalty will be. You're gonna find in most simulator programs, you're not hitting a true sand shot. In other words, you're not having to hit extra hard to get it out, get underneath it. We're gonna see this gonna be very similar to a normal shot for the most part. I'm 23 yards away from the hole, so I got a 58 degree, and we're gonna take a shot at it and see how we do, but we're not gonna have to swing too hard to get it there most likely. Very light swing. I didn't quite get it there. Now you see the gimme circle around the flag? That's really cool, that disappeared, but the gimme circle is actually a really cool feature, so you know exactly where you need to aim. I don't see it there now that I'm on the green. Uh, I'm colorblind, so if, it's, if it is there, I don't believe it's there, but just something to keep in mind. All right, so now that I'm actually on the green, the gimme circle's not there anymore, of course, uh, so I'm gonna be lining up my putt, and we're gonna show you a little bit more about a couple of options you have to line up your putt. So, if you're on the keyboard, you wanna aim left or right, which I should have here at my disposal with my board on the floor here that I have. I could aim left or right as you see here, right? So just kind of aiming left or right as you see, and you'll see the line. So obviously this putt is gonna break from my left to my right. So I wanna kind of drag it a little bit left, right? So obviously I've lined up my putt and I could putt that way. But let me show you one other way that you could actually use to putt on GS Pro, which is really cool that a lot of other programs don't have. I'm gonna go to the mouse here. All right, so I'm at the mouse here. You won't see me on the screen, but I wanna show you. I'm just gonna click the ball with the mouse, left click it, and I'm gonna drag it towards the hole. So this is what's called a BLI, or break line indicator, to show you how far it's gonna break. So if I were to move this left or right, it would obviously this is breaking left to right no matter what. But I'm gonna kinda aim right about here as my aiming point. And we're gonna go ahead and hit that putt and see how we do. And the stamp is set at 10, so it's gonna be really fast. From where I hit in my middle of my mat here to my screen is about nine feet. So I'm hitting a putt 17 feet. I bet you if I were to barely hit this where I tap the screen, it's actually going to roll past the hole at most likely in this case. So it does take some getting used to and the stems are very fast on GS Pro, especially in tournaments. If you're playing on your own and you wanna kind of adjust that, that's easy to do. But if you're in a tournament, it's a little bit different. So it's something that you may need some getting used to but overall, it's really realistic. It's a really cool program, and I think it's something that you'll adjust to quite quickly. So let's take this putt, let's see how we do, and we'll go from there. Again, 17 feet, and it's not really uphill much, if any.
There's a, there you see the gimme circle. It lit up when I rolled past it. So I did miss the putt and I did go too far. So now I'm seven feet away. We got that gimme circle at five feet. So I missed. Again, putting is gonna take some time. And I got a double bogey on the first hole. Keeping it real though. All right, so there's our second hole now. We we're 486 yards away. I'm already plus two. We're gonna take our driver shot. Uh, I'll show you a flyover of this hole as well, and then we'll go ahead and hit our, our driver shot for hole number two. All right, so let's see this beautiful hole. We're gonna be driving from there. I think it's 586 yards, I believe, or maybe it was 486. So we'll have a little ravine to hit over, and there we see our flag stick right there. So I always like to see it to know what I'm dealing with before I hit my first shot. All right, so again, what do you guys think so far of GS Pro? I think it's a really awesome program, really, really good graphics. You're looking at 4K graphics. It may not obviously reflect well with the camera and the lighting, but the 4K graphics are incredible with GS Pro. Let me know your thoughts on the graphics so far. I'm just trying to get it in the fairway. I'm choking down and trying to hit the fairway. That's all I'm trying to do right now with the driver. All right, so we're 273 away. We're on our second shot now. Now this is where it's gonna be important to kind of see what you're dealing with. So I'm gonna take you back to the screen and I wanna click on the map on the bottom right just to see if I were to hit it from here, that's 167 yards. But if I wanna try to hit it to the next area, it's 226. So I'm going to Just do a little layup right here to 165 or so. So I got to hit a shot that's less than 165 to where I'm aiming. We're going to pick that eight iron again. Hopefully just hit the fairway and give us a nice shot from there. And when I, if I were to hit 165, I believe my next shot would be about 90 yards away. So let's take a look and see. All right, so we're aiming for that 165 marker now. And I'm pulling everything for some reason. So now I'm gonna be in the rough from 142 away. So a couple things I noticed that is not set on is wind. I wanna show you wind. So I'm gonna put on there, just breezy for now, just to kind of show you if that affects us a little bit as well. And if you wanted to also adjust like your altitude to where you're currently at, you can do that as well. That may have influenced how far your ball's going. I normally just leave it alone based upon core settings. Uh, I don't touch that. Um, there's also a visual offset feature. So if you were in a smaller setup and you're all the way to the right side of your mat, you could also adjust your offset, which is a nice feature as well for a lot of people. And lastly, I was trying to see for the round anyways, if I have penalties set up. I know the wind wasn't on, um, but if I had penalties set up for the shots, and I don't see penalties on here. So if I miss penalties, uh, I'll come back and show you later on in the video on how to, uh, how to adjust penalties or leave them as is as needed. All right, so I got two trees I got to hit over now. I'm 142 yards away. I'm gonna use that eight iron again, and hopefully I'll stop hooking that or drawing that ball a little bit too much um, and land this on the green so we can actually try to putt for birdie. So let's see if we can get over these trees. I'm in the, again in the rough. I don't know 100%, so forgive me if I have penalties on or off. If I, ha if I am missing that feature, I'll show you later on in this video. If not, if it is on automatically, then we need to see more of what that penalty is. So that's definitely one thing that I would like to see. Um, and I didn't see it in the settings, but I may have had to set that before the round too. So I'll come back and talk to you a little bit more about penalties here in a bit. All right, let's hit that eight iron, see how we do. Pretty good shot there. Actually went right this time. Darn it. Everywhere but the green. Okay, 17 feet away. All right, so on a shot like this, I really don't normally adjust it. I mean, I can easily adjust it down here with the joystick, but I normally just hit left or right of the green based upon how it's breaking. So in this case, we see that it's gonna be breaking pretty hard from my left to my right. I have 17.3 yards away, and again, Last shot, so I think the penalties may be on. 94% speed, 77% spin. 
that kind of shows me maybe what that penalty was. So again, I'll get clarification on that just because these are, some of these features are a little bit newer with the newer download as well. All right, so I got 17 yards away. Let's go ahead and hit a lob wedge and see if we can get it on the green for hopefully within that gimme circle, but we'll take a look. There's a gimme circle. Right outside of it, of course. Five foot gimmies, I'm five foot seven inches away. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock this putt down here. Very, very small break, I feel. So I'm gonna hit a nice soft putt and we'll see if we can drain this putt here. And I hit it too hard. So again, greens are really, really fast. Automatically got a bogey on that one. And we're moving on to the third hole, which is going to be par four, I believe, 401 total yards. So one more time, let's do a flyover, see what we're looking at here. Again, graphics wise, it's incredible. It looks really, really good, better than anything else I've seen out there, to be honest. All right, so we've got a severe turn there. So let's see if we aim right about there. I don't know if I'm going to make that fairway or not, and it's going to be pretty far away from me, but let's see how we do. That's all I got there, guys. Not going to make it. Going to be in the bunker. Pretty sure this is how I would actually play Pebble Beach as well. 169 away, I'll be using a five iron out of the bunker. See if it penalizes me and how I do. Bad shot, again. I got it there, I just missed the green again. All right, this is pretty cool to show you guys. So. Obviously I got a huge tree in my way on the screen. Let's see how we can do to get a better look at that golf ball and where we're at. All right, so we have a problem here that plagues pretty much any golf simulator program and that's being behind a tree or something in your way, but there's always a solution and luckily GS Pro has a pretty good one here. So if I were to hit this button up here in the right hand corner and I were to go to my shortcuts, one of the things I want to show you that I think is really cool anyways is J, which is the shot cam. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that shot cam right now in this situation because I am behind this tree. It's going to be hard for me to see my shot. If I were to hit J and you'll see it on the screen, you're now going to see there's my shot. There's my circle. There's my gimme circle. It shows me everything that I need to see as far as where I'm at. Really cool stuff. If I wanted to also use my keypad left or right, you'll actually see I can move this around and I'll find my golf ball there, right? So there it is. I don't want to leave it aimed that way because I'm aiming in a different direction. So I want to leave it there. I'm going to go ahead and aim right at my spot again. And there could be better ways to do this as well. Again, I'm still learning all the ins and outs of the program in more detail. But I'm going to go ahead and use J again to line up my shot for me. Show me exactly where I'm aiming and what I want to do. And I'm going to hit my lob wedge and see if we can get it there on the green. So as you can see, lots of cool features within the gameplay section of GS Pro. Um, the one thing I obviously notice is I'm struggling really bad. If you take a hiatus from golf, which I have done just because life's been crazy, uh, your game starts to suffer pretty darn quick. So I'm going to get, try to get in here more and keep playing. But uh, let's see if we can finish up strong end up on the green and hopefully not have to take that last putt. All right, so we took care of the view issue there and let's see how this does now that I'm just gonna take a shot and see if we can get it there on the green. Okay, a little too hard. You'll adjust as you continue to play. Simulator golf, the two hardest things to do, putting and chipping. As you've seen, I've struggled with both today. Let's see if we can knock this putt down. 26 feet away though. And we got a little bit of a break left to right. Not much, not gonna do a ton to be honest. I'm gonna barely aim a little bit right of that green. We'll see if we take that putt there. Okay, I 
I actually dragged a VLI indicator to kind of line up my putt for me with the mouse. So we've got 26 feet, we're pretty much a flat putt. I'm gonna probably hit it somewhere close to about 15 to 16 feet, hopefully in here, and see how far it goes. Just missed it. So you see that kind of the difference in the putt speed and what you're looking at, but it is something you will get used to over time. So that's three holes of gameplay. I wanted to show you that for sure and make sure that I showed you all the features. I didn't show you absolutely everything. We'll hopefully have some more content down the road, but I do want to get your feedback of what you thought of the GS Pro gameplay. Hopefully you enjoy it as much as I do. I think it's a really cool program. If you have any questions though, make sure you shoot me an email anytime at Roland at mygaragegolf.com. All right, so before we finish up, there's my scorecard for the three holes. We had a par four, a par five, and a par four. I got plus two, plus one, and plus one. So I'm four over through three. Not much different than what would happen in real round of golf, most likely. Something to just kind of give you guys an idea. And again, all your stats are gonna be tracked. My longest drive was only 213. I hit two fairways, no greens and regulations, no birdies, no eagles, two bogeys, and one double bogey. Total foot putts made is 3.98 feet. So wrapping up this video, you saw a whole lot of bad golf and a whole lot of really, really cool simulator golf. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions on GS Pro as a program. Don't let my bad golf sway you from thinking that it's not a great program because it really, really is. And hopefully I showcase some of that. There's so much more that I could go into later, which hopefully I will do on future videos. But I wanted to kind of show you, this is their most recent update. They pump out new content all the time. Pretty much almost every time I'm logging in, it seems like they've done a download or an update and they fix things. Again, this is a golf simulator program built by the golf simulator community for the golf simulator community. Pretty much the only one they can say that for the most part. And a really, really good group of people behind GS Pro. Um, very affordable, I feel, for what you get. And tons of courses, tons of data, being able to track everything online. Now, one thing I didn't tell you as well is let's say that you have a golf simulator, but you have a friend who does not and they want to come over. You can create an account specifically for them, have them join the golf simulator tour for just 60 bucks, and they can play in all the different matches. They can play on the tours. They can play alongside with you as you're playing and have all their data tracked and everything without them having to have their own version of GS Pro. So that's a really cool feature. It's also great for get togethers with family and friends. If you wanna come over, there's lots of unique features as well besides just normal single golf. You have, instead of just like, you also have match play, Stableford's, all kinds of stuff, best ball, really cool features that you can have as well when you're playing this program. So those are all things to remember and keep in mind. This is not just a, one size fits all kind of deal. Um, it's also good for people that have kids. There's courses on there that are geared specifically for kids as well. There's other practice courses on there, lots of stuff. There's even like a little farm area where kids can hit the ball and there's farm animals all around. So there's all kinds of stuff. There's, there's gonna be something for everybody with GS Pro, which I feel really makes it one of the most unique products out there. I'd love to hear your feedback, so let me know what you think anytime. Reach out to me at roland at mygaragegolf.com. Again, if you're interested in what you see here, you wanna build a golf simulator, you're not really sure where to start, I'm your go-to person for that. That's what we're gonna be doing moving forward. I got lots of big changes here on the channel moving forward that I can't wait to share with you guys moving into 2023. And uh, it may even involve a move for me, so something just to kind of keep in mind. But um, we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go along. I'm happy to share that with you here as soon as I line a few more things up. So reach out to me. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you think about GS Pro. I think it's an awesome program. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've tested it out versus other simulator programs out there. Put that in the comments. Let me know your thoughts and what you think. And if you think there's a feature that GS Pro is missing or that you'd like to see, I'd also like to know that as well. I'm happy to relay any of this information onto the people at GS Pro really cool people and they really listen to their users. So I think it's definitely something that we can get into the program at some point down the road, hopefully. So as always, I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Make sure to keep me in mind if you're interested in anything golf simulator related, anytime I'm here to answer your questions. And until the next time we see you, keep on golfing. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks again.